All right, so let's take a more detailed look at mesh fusion surface strips introduced in Moto 12. They behave a bit differently than the normal uh, fusion strips you're used to working with, and we're going to look at some of those differences and features here. I'm going to start by creating a simple fusion item using this capsule. With the uh, new fusion popover, I'm going to set uh, absolute strip width on. I just kind of prefer that in all uh, fusion modeling. Uh, strip width I've set fairly wide here to 30, so we could 30 millimeters, so that we can see the topology of the strips created. And uh, the strip profile of 100% is a good place to start when working with uh, surface strips. Not a requirement. There are uses for other settings, but we'll start with that. So just create a new fusion item with that capsule, and we're going to add surface strips using these two meshes, this plane and this cylinder. So we select all three meshes and uh, for this uh, first look we're going to use the grid style, two-sided grid style surface strips. Um, the only difference between these first two options here, first two buttons, um, is the way that uh, the strip topology is created where the strips intersect. Where you can either have a, a kind of a straightforward grid where they cross or this kind of miter uh, topology that we'll look at later. We're going to start with grid. So just click on that button and our surface strips are created. And indeed if we look closely we can see that where the strips cross we just have a straightforward uh, grid arrangement of rows and columns. Here for comparison purposes I've set up a second fusion item using the miter uh, surface strip option uh, and of course the same a copy of the same meshes. So we have the same structure here, but you can see uh, the miter topology at the intersection here. And in fact, we can see it more clearly if we look at some uh, output meshes from those fusion items where we don't have the procedural triangulation going on. So there you can see the miter topology in that intersection. And if we move over here, um, there is the grid topology. And naturally, the purpose of surface strips is to set you up for subsequent direct or procedural modeling based on the uh, additional topology the surface strips provide. And uh, which flavor, uh, miter or uh, grid you choose depends largely on what you hope to achieve with that subsequent modeling. With that in mind, uh, let's take a look at some of the other differences between these two surface strip types that kick in when we start editing the strip properties. And to do that, let's create some strip items for each of our fusion items. So we'll create some strip items for that one, and create strip items for that one. One way of thinking about these two strip options, uh, surface strip options, is that this miter option is kind of the more a flexible option, and the grid is the more ordered and rigid option. Uh, the miter option flexible in the sense that it, uh, these strips can be combined with uh, and, and interact directly with regular fusion strips, uh, where the grid style can't, and this uh, miter style is more compatible with corner rounding because of the way the strip topology is orderly and continuous as it rounds a corner. And kind of in that spirit, uh, you'll notice something uh, unique about these miter strips, and that is that they're for each strip segment, like this segment here in the center of this circle, there are actually two separate strip items. And that opens up, again, some kind of flexible modeling options. As far as corner rounding, and as far as other strip properties such as width. Corner rounding with the miter style uh, behaves much like it does with standard fusion strips. I can isolate uh, any single corner based on the selection of strip items and round just that corner. Whereas with the grid style, 
the only option is to uh, select all of the strip items coming into a corner and round uh, or coming into an intersection and round all four corners. For that reason, along with the more uh, compatible uh, boundary topology of the uh, miter style, uh, it's usually preferable to use the miter style if you plan on including significant corner rounding in your uh, fusion mesh. If, on the other hand, uh, your modeling requires this kind of uh, selection of polygons that passes through an intersection, um, you can get a very nice result using the grid topology, but there really is no uh, satisfying result using the miter topology. No matter which polygons you include, you're not going to get that nice orderly band of polygons passing through the intersection. All of a strip item's properties, with the exception of those found in this strip quad lengths section of the properties panel, uh, all of those properties may be edited independently. For example, I can independently edit the strip width of one side of this strip. Or I might select a couple of strip items and do the same thing. These asymmetric editing properties uh, are only available with the miter uh, strip style um, and they do uh, come in quite uh, handy when resolving some tricky situations uh, with corner rounding especially, and we'll look at that in future videos. And uh, finally, for this video in any case, um, it is possible to combine the grid and miter uh, surface strip types in a single fusion model, but uh, due to some known issues in beta zero, we strongly suggest that you stick to one surface strip type per fusion item. We'll have those issues sorted out in the next beta release.